Hello and welcome to the Golden Gloves Chat Show. With me once again, two special guests. I've had these guests a few times in our Golden Gloves studio. Welcome, Damien Durant. Thank you, Brian. And of course, Brandon Taser. Brandon you, is the current WBA Pan African Champion. And you've got many titles. We're going to talk about them now. You, you rated number one junior middleweight in the whole of South Africa. You won the Ford War. We're going to talk about that, those fantastic wins. But firstly, Damien Durant, I want to talk to you. It's your birthday today. Thank you. So, very happy birthday to you, Thank young you, man. Uh, I think you can tell us how old you are, because when you get to no, my... No, I'm 30 now, so now... Jeez, you are getting they old. They can't call me young anymore now, they just... You know, just... when you get to my age, you don't want people to phone you for your birthday anymore. <laughs> well, you know, uh, happy birthday, Damien. Uh, you you've done much. a splendid job and a magnificent job as a young boxing trainer. Well done, you've taken after your dad and doing a good job. Right, let's talk to your champion here next to me. Current WBA Pan-African champion, as I said, number one junior middleweight in the country. You won the Ford War in magnificent fashion. I mean, nobody expected it. Not me, who's been in boxing forever. Not the promoter, Rodney. Maybe not even, maybe your parents that expect it. <laughs> and, and yourself. But, but I think generally the public, you, you weren't the favorite to win it originally. You, um, you were up there because it was close between the four of you. But I mean, in 2019, that magnificent knockout of Rourke Knapp, who's still gone today, is, is one of the most talented fighters in the country. Uh, let's talk quickly about that fight in 2019, Brandon Tays, stopping the talented Rock Knapp. How was that fight for you? Yeah, that was a, a very tough fight. Um, as you say, I mean, Rock went on and got two exciting knockouts after mm -hmm. uh, his loss to me. Um, so he's a very good fighter, very, very talented, uh, and I respect him. You know, we've grown up in boxing a long time. Um, so yeah, fighting him was nice. Um, it was a challenge for me, and I know I had to put everything out there to to beat Rock. You know, um, at that time also I started putting everything into boxing as well. I stopped working. I went to full time into boxing, and uh, you know it, it paid off on the night. You know, I, I went in there confidence high enough to to do what I had to do to do my job, and I won. And I didn't just win, I knocked him out. Yeah, you just you, you won in absolute magnificent fashion. I mean, it was a good fight up till then. It was a close fight up until then. But I mean, you just took command and you were absolutely amazing. I mean, look at Raw Knapp's back. He's bounced back. He's a terrific fighter. So a really great win for you in that semi-final of the four at war, Brandon Taser. And then 2020 was a bad year for the whole planet with the pandemic. And it, but it wasn't the worst year for you, I must say. 2020, yeah. you, you, you beat Boyd Allen in that surprise victory. When I say surprise for a lot of people, obviously not for you guys, you're prepared to win. Uh, a lot of people that I'd spoken to uh, and asked them what they thought, they thought Boyd Allen would outbox you. He was undefeated and a brilliant fighter as well. And you take early, early in the fight, Boyd Allen. So a magnificent victory for you, winning that Ford War, so well done. Tell us about the heartfelt uh, stopping Boyd Allen. So early. did you think that it could happen so quickly? Uh, you know, everyone knows Boyd has a good chin. Um, I mean, he's been in MMA for most of his life and he's taken some, some hard shots, elbows, knees, that's, that's not a joke. Um, so uh, we knew we were gonna stop him. Uh, we didn't think we were gonna stop him the way we did. Uh, most probably would have been like a nice body shot or something like that. Um, so yeah, it definitely came as a surprise when I, I stopped him in the third round with a knockout to the chin. Um, it made me feel good as well, you know, no one has ever stopped Boyd Allen like that. So um, accomplishing that is also something nice for me, you know. Mm. Um, but yeah, the, the Boyd fight was a grudge fight, so I really wanted that fight. Um, in the final? Yeah, and it was the final as well on top of that. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough fight, you know, I really, really wanted this fight, especially because everyone thought I was the underdog coming yeah. into this competition and the first loss against Boyd as well. Um, so I needed to prove to myself, to my team, and to everyone out there that, you know, the first fight wasn't the way it should have went. And mm. I think I did that in the final. Fantastic and absolutely magnificent win there. I love the way fighters and trainers say, um, we did this and we did that. So yeah, lovely. It's, a, it's, it's a obviously a great effort. compliment you're giving to your trainer sitting next to you there. That's team effort, yeah. yeah when you I say we did it, Damon would say we did it, because you did do it together. So Damon, what was it like for you as Brandon says he was possibly the underdog for winning the Ford War. Uh, nobody expected him to, well not nobody, you guys expected him to win. Um, 
What did you think when, when he had won the title? Did, is that what you expected? You know, Brian, when we went into the tournament, I knew there was a lot of time and effort that needed to go into Brandon going into the tournament in order to win it. And I made it very clear to him. I said, if you want to win this, you need to give me everything you've got. Yeah. And he did it. I'll be he honest, he, he put in all the hours in the gym. He gave me everything I needed. And that's why he was successful at the end of the day. He really, really wanted to win the tournament. And it was, I think he was at a point in his career where it was either win the tournament, do it, or walk away from the sport. Because mm. you can't, you, in boxing, you can't, you can't put half an effort into anything. You need to put everything you have into it in order to make it a success. So Brandon did that. He gave me everything for the raw fight, and he was successful. He gave me everything for the Boyd rematch and the final, and he did it. So I was very proud of him. You know, when we talk about a team, there's a lot of people that put in value into it, from sponsors to to assistants, everyone, and sparring partners. Everyone gets involved in order to to get that 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 success on the night. So it wasn't just Brandon that's in that ring. There's a whole lot of us that are involved. That please that, don't that mention all the sponsors now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank that. that, 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 that you know, like fighters do straight after the fight. Obviously, they thank the Lord, which is the most important. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, then and then they thank sponsors. fifty sponsors. And me as a commentator, I'm like. Uh, we don't have that much airtime, but yeah, for sure, it's teamwork. Well done to the sponsors. Well done to the manager and trainer. Well done to the fighter. You guys were ex- absolutely magnificent in 2020 in winning that fourth war. So brilliant. Well done there. Um, let me ask you now, going forward, you guys have always been linked to Golden. You, your dad was always linked to Golden Gloves, and you obviously have been linked to Golden Gloves. But Brandon wasn't a specifically a Golden Gloves fighter. Um, until he had won the Ford War. So it didn't mean he had to win the Ford War to become a Golden Gloves fighter, but now he is officially a Golden Gloves sure. fighter and you're a Golden Gloves trainer. So well done on that and welcome to the team. How do you, where do we go from here? It's, uh, you've been speaking to promoter Rodney Berman. There's big things on the international scene. He's beaten up everybody in South Africa. There's nobody left to fight here. Sure. Talk to us where you guys from here, yeah, Damien Durant. So I chatted to Rodney last week and uh, he's made it very clear that Brandon will be in action in June here. Um, we're trying to get him a uh, keep busy fight in in March, March, beginning of April on a Sauerland show, hopefully on the undercard of Chris Eubank. In which Germany. Is in Germany, yeah. So hopefully that happens. It'll be very, very good exposure for Brandon. You know, Eubank's got a big following. Mm-hmm. He's fought some good fighters. He's had good exposure and... Uh, Fighting on a silent promotion is a very big thing. You know, they've, they've staged some really big things in boxing. As of late, they've done the World Boxing Super Series. They did the Cruiserweight version. They've done multiple Super Series, two Cruiserweights. Uh, they've done a Lightweight, if I'm not mistaken, and the, uh, a Bantamweight tournament. So they've done big things, and it will be nice for, uh, for, for Brandon to feature on the undercard of Eubank. It will be good exposure. And it will just open him up into the international scene and get people talking. So it's definitely the right move for him, and I'm excited about it. Fantastic. Yeah, well, congratulations, you guys. Welcome to the team. As I said, we look forward to your next fight, Brandon, hopefully in Germany in March, as you said, and then back in front of your fans uh, in June, hopefully in South Africa. Uh, Would you like to, what did you like to do with your your future career? Do you want to be an IBO champion, a WBA champ? Where do you see Brandon Pace again? I see myself going all the way to the top you know I, I just want to become a world champion you know my father always went for the world world titles uh unfortunately was never able to to reach that goal you know so as his son i'd, I'd really like to be a world champion whether it's ibo wba wbc wba whatever it is you know just want to be a world champion fantastic and we spoke about it off air just now your father that you're referring to is andre taser the two-time south african champion a good fighter as well I think you're going to go into be even better than your father, but I'm sure he'll be happy <laughs> me saying that. So, well done. Congratulations on all the fantastic wins. Well done to you, Damien Durant. Happy birthday one more time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Are guys. Are still going to sing? <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to you. I think we'll leave that. We, we won't mention all the sponsors today, and we won't we'll sing happy birthday. <laughs> we'll blow the cake when we go up there. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Us.